Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another review. We're looking at a lightsaber this time. This is something I haven't done, uh, not on this sort of detail, but um, yeah, so we're looking at Black Series Force Effects. It is Rey Skywalker's lightsaber. Um, this thing is absolutely incredible. As you can see, Rey Skywalker Force Effects Elite lightsaber. Some of the uh, the features on on the saber itself. And I was just going to say that this thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, first time I've ever had a Force Effects lightsaber. Have had some in the past, uh, some of the sort of more cheaper ones, but yeah, definitely my first Elite, uh, which is you know top of the range. You know, this was down. Uh, was originally about 500 bucks, 450, and went down to 360 as part of a sale. Um, so I got a good, got a good deal, and uh, a mate was able to pick pick a couple up, and uh, he let me pay this one off. So I'm really, really grateful that he was able to do that. So yeah, here it says, combining advanced LEDs and amplified sound technology, the Force FX Elite lightsaber is the most authentic Force FX lightsaber yet. So again, battle clash effect, progressive ignition, as you can see. We got blaster deflect effect, authentic lightsaber sound effects. Illuminated metal hilt, twist to ignite, which I love. I think that's so good. Um, yeah, the, the mechanism, we'll, we'll take a look at this thing afterwards. Molten blade tip effect, another cool thing. Yeah, there's the original price, $449.99. That's how much these things cost in Australia, which is why I haven't got one yet. <laughs> Until now. Removable blade, which is nice, and a real fabric wrap. Um, which I need to find a way to um, talk about because there is a little bit of fraying that's involved, so I will need to find a way to fix that. And a display stand, which is also a really nice piece. So let's get done with the box and let's take a look at the lightsaber. All right, here it is in all its majestic glory. This is, a, it's a heavy piece, um, which is awesome. Um, yeah, really nicely detailed. As you can see, I mentioned the uh, fraying. I do need to sort of just snip those ends off and then and then give them, put a bit of fabric glue just to sort of seal them ends. I don't mind a little bit of fraying because it looks like it's used, so I don't mind that at all. There's the emitter. All these little bits do fold out. And uh, if I can, I will just untwist the end. There we go. So yeah, you can slide this up off the blade to remove it. And that will just sort of flip back down into a closed position. And yeah, it's all die cast metal. These little bits are plastic, but that's not a big deal. So yeah, as we just go up to the top, slide it over, bringing it down. And make sure it's aligned so it doesn't cross thread. And there we go. So I do love the way the sort of metal you know, it's been painted to look rusty. It looks awesome. There is the emitter button and there is the extra button there. So we'll turn that on in a second. Down the bottom here, that bottom cap does screw off to allow for the battery compartment. Um, my only thing is you can sort of see the batteries through there. So you can just see that blue of the batteries. Um, but yeah, you can just color them. Belt clip. Which is there. The 
yeah, nicely detailed all across this thing. It's really, really nice. So what do you say we ignite it? Let's take a look at the stand quickly before we get to the fun stuff. So again, nice stand. Looks really good. Holds it well. It's a nice sort of, I'd probably say it's more of a, an alloy as opposed to like a heavy steel, but it's nice and strong. All right, here we go. So there we have it. Golden yellow blade. It's looking a little bit brighter on the uh, phone here, so we'll see how that turns out. But um, let's just listen to the sounds for a moment. It's almost this slight sound in the background. It's a, I don't know. it's an interesting sound. You can almost hear. It's hard to hear. I don't know if you can on camera, but. It's almost like a, a choral sort of, oh, sort of deep within the background of the of the hum. So you can see the blade in there as well, which is really cool. Then well, let's watch it spark up because it does exactly what it does in the movie. A blue and green flash. Just hitting the wall here. So yeah, we've got the laser deflect. So it just works by hitting that. And by holding that same button, you get the molten effect. So as if you're sticking it through a wall, dragging it along the ground, Yeah, this thing is absolutely incredible. And uh, it's safe to say I'm uh, on the hunt for my next lightsaber, I think. Yeah, I've just completely fallen in love with this thing. I just love that flick mechanism. It's like straight out of the movie. I wasn't sure if they'd recreate that precisely on this thing. That it might have just been a button activation, but no, they uh, they did it. They sorted out the uh, control, the flick switch there. I was just, I seriously love the detail on this thing. It's it's really really nice. And, uh, yeah, I definitely am one that would love to see more of Ray actually using this at some point in the future. I'm sure we will. We'll just spin this so we can sort of see how it sits in the stand. It just sits in that ring there and it just sort of holds it back really nicely. The blade is removable, like I said. Um, I'm not going to take it out now, but, um, yeah, it is removable, so you can just wear the hilt, or rock the hilt on your belt, which is really cool. But uh, just for fun, let's turn it back on. Such a nice piece. I love it. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. No, it's more so just, just a quick look rather than an in-depth and detailed review, but um, it's fun nonetheless. Really nice addition to my collection. I'm, I'm so stoked with it. It looks good. But yeah, just gotta sort out that frame. Um, I've got a few, few solutions, so it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought. I know people on TikTok already yelled at me for not calling her Ray Palpatine. <laughs> Yay, internet. 
All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you very, very soon for some more Star Wars goodness. Until then, may the Force be with you always.